Hi, today we're after day flying barn owls. There are three counties in England that I associate with barn owls that fly during the day. There's Lincolnshire, Lancashire and Norfolk. We're in Norfolk today and I think it is probably the prime county. There are very regular sightings of barn owls flying around even in the middle of the day, not just late afternoon or early morning, right 12 o'clock midday they can still be flying. If you want to see day flying barn owls this is probably the place to come. This is Welney, the Wildfowl and Wetland Trust Reserve. I'm in the car park and sometimes the barn owls come and land on the posts in the car park while you're standing here. That's typically early in the morning or late evening when there's not so many cars here but they are extremely confiding and just behind me there's a fence here and you might get 20 people lined up here some bird watchers some photographers photographing the owls they come very very close to you extremely approachable but it's not just at Welney you drive around any quiet country lane in Norfolk and you stand a very good chance of seeing day flying barn owls if you want to do an organised tour, there are quite a few photographers in Norfolk who will take you out to photograph barn owls as well. I'll put a couple of links in the description under the video of some of the more well-known ones. Not all barn owls in Norfolk are as tame and as approachable as this bird, but I could get very close to it using the car as a mobile hide. And it wasn't the only bird. I know I photographed at least three individuals. Now one of the problems with car window photography is all too often you want to photograph out of the windscreen. This is a very narrow country lane. If I keep going until I can photograph the barn owl out of the side window, I'm far too close. The barn owl will have flown away. So I've got to pull up 20 metres short of the barn owl and then that's the direction I need to photograph in through the windscreen. But it's amazing how you can get out of the car without disturbing the barn owl. As you get out of the car, it's not a question of moving slowly, it's more that you don't want to make any jerky movements. You get out of the car smoothly, don't stick your arm up in the air. And so long as you're keeping the bulk of your body hidden by the car door, it's amazing how tolerant birds can be of you getting out of the car. Even better if you're shooting in that direction, if the bird is on the side of the road, and you can get out, you keep your head as low as you can and you go over the top of the car like that again amazingly close even better with a bird on the ground you go around the front wheel on your belly within an hour of the first day I'd got all the barn owl pictures on post that I could want in Africa I've seen several vehicles they tend to be jeeps or land rovers where the front windscreen folds down completely flat and that would be so useful I've always hankered after one of those there were three birds along this fence and there was always flying in this direction towards me. If I went behind the birds, not only am I getting a backlit shot, which is not too bad, but when the birds are flying, they've got their backs to me. To photograph them flying, I'm going to need to be this end of the road, so they're flying at me. So let's look at a bit of slow motion. I've often talked about slow motion video with birds and how much I enjoy looking at it. Well, mostly I've been filming at 120 frames per second, 4K, which is roughly five times slow. Today what we're looking at is 240 frames per second. I'm still using the Lumix GH6 for the video work with the Olympus or OM cameras 150 to 400 mm lens. When you get to 240 frames per second, you lose a bit of quality because you're dropping down to HD instead of 4K. And what I have to do here is park the car sideways on the edge of the road. I got out and walked on the grass first to make sure it was hard enough, but it is a four wheel drive. And then you can photograph the birds as they come along that fence. When they get to the far end of the fence, they fly right back along the road in one flight often, and then they start again, moving along the fence. I preferred to photograph this bird because it didn't have a leg ring on, whereas one of the other individuals did. Now this is video at normal speed. You can see it's quite a jerky flight, but not particularly fast. It's not really coming at me at great speed. Now here, against the clear sky, it's possible the autofocus was working. 
but normally with video I have to manually focus and here against the grass I probably was. There's no EXIF data so I can't be certain. For the stills photography I'm using the OM-1 camera. The barn owl is on the fence there. The tractor is certainly going to disturb it. So I'm ready. I know it's got to take off because of that tractor. And the autofocus on the OM-1 for stills photography is, is brilliant. Absolutely stunning. Difficult to take a bird out of focus, I sometimes think. On the field on the other side of the road, there were thousands of Hooper swans, and sometimes the barn owl flew in front of those swans. We're back to 240 frames per second HD, and I am certainly manually focusing. I've got peaking set, so the area of the picture that is in sharp focus turns red. That helps me. But nevertheless, this is very difficult to do. Bear in mind it's 10 times slow, so I've only got to keep it in focus for one second, and I've got 10 seconds worth of footage. But nevertheless, very hard. I'm having to pan the camera, manually focus all the time as the bird is coming towards me. And although this looks quite effective, I spent three days doing this, and most of it was rubbish. I didn't get it right very often. The bird is coming very close to me. What I can do fairly easily is take out the built-in 1.25 extender. I can just throw a switch and that reduces the focal length so the bird then isn't so big in the frame. What I find is impossible is to zoom. I can't pan, focus and zoom at the same time. I need three hands to do that. So the bird has come very large in the frame here, but I just had to accept that. When the bird's coming along the road here, I'm wishing there was a car coming up behind it. That was a picture I had in my head for the entire three days I was there. When you're filming in slow motion, you see things you don't normally see, like those long legs sticking down and the way the legs sort of pump as the bird is flying. I've had to cut some of this footage out. He hovered in this position for a long time. And here I thought he was going to go down and catch a mouse, changed his mind and flew off again. I'll finish off with some stills pictures. All of these are taken on the OM-1 camera. Notice this bird is dropping lower and lower in the sky. And as it does so, I'm getting very excited because I know underneath this bird, there's a car coming. Am I going to get the shot I wanted? In fact, I got a whole series and I can't make up my mind which is the best. I like this one and I got three or four in a very similar position. But I also like them when the bird was off the side of the road slightly, like this. But it was a long wait, but eventually I did get it. And just a couple of others when the bird came very close to me while I was taking stills. Makes a big difference here that you can't see the bird's face. I needed it to pick its head up. Thanks for watching.